Hi, my name is Pau. I'm a founder of Olympic. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. And what Olympic does is basically allows any site or any Facebook fan page to effectively crowdsource photos and bring user engagement to the next level. This is Jose de Cabo, uh, Luis Sanz and myself, Pau Sabria. We are all Spaniards and we met here in New York three years ago now. You get to the US, uh, not for the first time, but for the first time for a long time. And we decided to go to Las Vegas. I think it was January, something like that. In January. Yeah. In January. And, and every one of us took a camera with, with himself. When we were back at Columbia Business School, I think it was one of our friends that actually asked, could I get all the rest of the pictures? Um, and we couldn't find an easy way to do that. Anyway, eventually we ended up at the library exchanging pen drives, exchanging the pictures, and we thought there had to be a better way to do that. Yeah, but those pictures never saw the light of the day. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> not, they are not public. <laughs> I think Lair Ventures has a great track record in terms of funding great companies here in New York. The New York tech scene is booming and they have a very, very, very compelling story for media companies. We definitely love to have Lair as an investor and work with them to... Number one choice, no? If number one pick. choice, it would have to be. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Jordan. Pau, Jordan, nice to meet you. And Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi, um, my name is Pau. I'm one of the founders of Olopic. And Olopic, what it does, it enables any site or any Facebook fan page to collect pictures from their audience. So basically, everyone is taking pictures nowadays, and we think that's a new means of communication. And yet, traditional sites can only engage with their users through comments. I think I'm familiar with you guys. You're Columbia, right? Yes. I thought so. Exactly. I thought so. And you guys had to deal with the daily news. Exactly. That's one of our okay. first clients, cool. and I have to say that this morning, Thrillist contacted us. Oh, we did. Totally unexpectedly. Interesting. In the last 30 days, we've generated 3.5 million page views for our partners. That include New York Daily News, Daily Candy, Mashable, and Pepsi. Interesting. And yet, we've just been live since May. And so, what are you doing with Daily Candy? What's the partnership there? So we are exploring the conjunction between content creation and e-commerce, and we think that one of the best ways of monetizing photo sharing, which has been a major challenge in recent years, is actually using this means of communication as a door to e-commerce and sharing what you buy, sharing what you're interested in, in, et cetera, et cetera. And they're paying you like on a SaaS model or something? As of now, yes. But what we found out uh, with some of our customers is that actually we can generate and turn our uploader widget into an interactive ad unit. And so we are, the incentive for them is especially on that side. I wonder if they were reaching out to you from Thrillist or from Jack Threads because David runs social media across both and if he was thinking potentially for doing something uh, around people uh -huh. taking pictures or sharing pictures of themselves in things that they're buying. I'm just, I, I'm not sure, but I think that uh, we'll I, have to, I have to find yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you I can find out before you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm curious though. I think that that's a really, uh, I think that there could be interesting stuff there and on the commerce side in mm -hmm. particular, because if you can show that you can, you're driving deeper engagement there, yeah. that's where, you know, publishers are, or, you know, shops are actually going to see like real return on investment quickly. Yes, exactly. Cool. So why don't we, uh, let me follow up my thrills, guys, and you sure. talk to them, and, and maybe I'll try to get in on that meeting, too, and hear sure. what you guys are up to. Excellent. Cool. Thank Thanks you. so much. Great seeing you. I saw those guys at Columbia like a year and a half ago. They were a year ago. They've gotten some publishers. Like, Daily Candy is a particularly difficult to, pub to partner right. with. But, so. I mean, how much do you think Daily News or Daily Candy is paying these guys? Like, it's good. What well, the, right the now, monthly SAS fee is going to be, like, <laughs> 500 bucks a month? Exactly. You know? Until you get to, I mean, like, you know, but if they can, if Daily Candy's driving an incremental million page views, and, like, even if it's a low CPM, but, like, at a, pro, at a premium publisher, like, even a low CPM for them, even if it's a $5 CPM, like, there's enough value in there to create that extra inventory right. where it might make sense. Like, is the Daily News really sold out? 
like have they ever sold an ad? I don't even know. But like Daily Candy, we're like a high quality brand. There might be incremental value to that additional uh, inventory. I don't know what right, to say. So we'll see. Yeah. I've, I've pitched and pitched, pitched, pitched the same idea several times and I've been perfectioning it over the last weeks and months. So uh, I was definitely not nervous and it was actually great.